Power Director 16, let's make a lower third with a color board and get a little fancy with it. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Our color boards are located by clicking on the drop down box here. We can click here for color boards or we can click the arrow which brings out the color boards here. That's how we get to the color boards in PowerDirector 16. I'm going to go back to my media content and I'm going to grab my video and put it down here in the timeline. Let's go pick a color board. And I guess I'll grab a lighter blue. Drop it in there. I'm going to double click on this color board and it's going to open the pip room. Expand the object settings, remove remove the maintain act spec ratio you see here. That'll allow us to resize the box however we want. Once you get the box how you want it, hit your OK button. Now, we can edit this box and get a little crazy with it. For example, if I go back into this room and I'm going to go down to, say, Shadow. You see what I just did there? I put some black around it. And I can make the distance of the shadow bigger or smaller if I want. Really br bringing more emphasis to the box itself. I can even move the shadow basically on the top. I can move it around by using this dial. Giving it a much better, a much well I wouldn't say better look but a different look. But I like it at the bottom. You can add more opacity, more distance, more depth, but I like that there, so I'm going to say OK. Now I want to add my text, so we're going to click text at the uh, top left there. And you can choose whatever text you want. And I'm going to drop that just underneath it. Double click my text. Type in what I want here. If I double click in there, I can select some of these fonts if I want to get a little bit fancy. Eh, don't like that. Don't like that. Maybe that. Gonna shrink that down a little bit. Bring it down into my box. There we go. Say OK. Now I've got my text in there. Now what I could do, which is kind of interesting, I'm going to expand this out. Now I could take my text and I could give it, you know, a little bit of animation to it to make it look a little bit better. And all I did was double click it to bring up the box again. I could go for effect, or I could go for emotion. You know, I think I'll go for an effect at a starting effect. And you could got a lot of choices here when you do this. I think I'll do a scroll left and see how that looks. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's see how that looks. And uh, let me remove the volume out of this real quick. So pretty simple. Yeah, that's kind of sharp how that comes in, isn't it? So 
So that gives us a motion that's actually flying in. Now, if we don't like that, we can always, um, you know, we can always change it. By clicking the X, and that'll take that motion off of there. I could have it just kind of appear up. Zing in real quick. See, there's a lot of different effects I could. I could have it come in from. So let's go with this one here. Say so, okay. Let's start over. So that gives it a little pizzazz. And uh, you've made yourself basically a lower third on using a color board with PowerDirector 16. But we could get a little bit fancier. I mean, instead of just having it, you know, sit there, I might want to have it, you know, maybe fade out is what I'm kind of thinking. So when I double click the color board, I'm going to go to fades. I'm going to have it fade out at the end. I'm going to say OK. And now when I play it, we got a little fanciness because we got the animation. And then I want the actual color board here in Pirate Director 16 to fade out. And there we go there. Which gives it a much more, you know, much more professional look. Is what that does. So you can play with those two options, the color board and the text. And you can even lay one color board on top of another color board if you really want to get fancy. But this will allow you to make yourself a pretty easy lower third. And you could even have something in the top right come out, the top left. I mean, you can really get quite fancy with the color board and the text. And I've got two other videos on using color boards. And I'll link those up in the top for you guys to check out. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll even have a link in the description box if you want to watch the entire playlist of all the tutorials at one time. Sit back, have a coffee, go make a sandwich, and really get to know your Power Director 16. Here's a new channel, Steve Foka. I hope I said that right. Only has 49 subscribers. He needs some sub guys. Maybe you could go help him out. He's actually into bushcraft, knives, camping, crafting, all kinds of stuff on the outdoors. I actually watched a few of his videos and subscribed to him myself. And he was actually outside. It was like 25 degrees cooking in the cold. I guess he's testing out his equipment. But it turned out really good and looked pretty good. At any rate, guys, if you want, you can go check out Steve. Maybe subscribe to his channel. And we'll catch you on the next one.